You know, when I die, I'm going to hell because I'm already in heaven. It's day two of paint for the pickup project, and the basics are complete. The silver and raspberry colors are done and some clear has been applied. The team worked well into the small hours, but there's still one step missing to give it some style. The paint on the 53 truck looks great, but today the pinstripe and the graphic is the kind of stuff that puts it over the top. As time winds down, I've been fortunate to get a little more help. Uh, we've pulled a lot of our guys, you know, out from their regular jobs to uh, give us a, a helping hand over here and try to complete and meet our deadline. It isn't all classic employees pitching in. You can be sure enlisting one of the country's top graphic guys is a big help, too. Jeff Styles, I'm a pinstriper for Styles Custom Lines and Designs. Now that's a company name that'll be hard to sell off down the road, but you gotta admit, it gets the point across. The classic industries called me up, I came up to take a look at the logo on what they had on the 53 Chevy truck. Airbrushing isn't always a freehand thing. Vinyl assistance can be a big help. There's a little bit of technique in it to where step by step adding the colors. You know, you add one color, back tape it so that you don't bleed color into the next area that you're going into. So you really kind of have to think it out of where you're going to lay the colors in what order. Most of what we're doing is we're pushing on this letter. We're not putting our hands right on it. Okay. So yeah, you do you do have to if you just got done eating pizza or your donuts and right, everything. Right. You know. And it is national yeah. donut day yeah. today. And we've had our fill of donuts, but. so you want to wash your hands real good or wipe them down with some Preclino, you know, so that you don't have all of that on there. That's not really good. No, that ain't going to work. Cleanliness is next to artsiness, I suppose, but really every stage of paint gets the best results the cleaner you keep the environment. So keep the donuts out of range. <laughs> Tough call for me. So the striper comes in and boom, who's your daddy? We always save the day. Dealing with layers of color and art can be a confusing thing for a rookie. But Jeff's years of experience handles these multi-layers with ease. Every color is a separate stage that needs to be applied, dried, and peeled away to leave the appropriate element of the logo on the metal. Jeff's had a plan of attack worked out for days before showing up. All he needs to do is focus on that plan, and it should lay out like butter on toast. We did uh, modify the hood. We got rid of the belting, and we got rid of the emblems and the side emblems. Um, so, you know, it was kind of just a big, plain, round hood, and we thought we would dress it with the, uh, some pinstriping. And, you know, being that it's a 53, we thought it would be appropriate to go with some old-school-style pinstriping. We did orange around the hood, uh, the belt line of the truck, and then the logo we outlined in black. When the design comes up, you know, I just, out of my head, just lay a center point. And from doing this for so many years, it just kind of second nature. You just kind of start adding, adding the design and going this way, going that way. And all of a sudden, it turns into what's on the hood. Looking over Jeff's shoulder all day also means we can influence some little things, too. See what happens, Mark, when you're not here? <laughs> <laughs> With the door's logo laid down, Jeff wanted things sitting upright for some finer details. We figured gold leafing would be cool to put on the uh, truck since that's what they used back in the day. Uh, it was very popular when they were doing the pinstriping and stuff, so we thought it would be appropriate for our uh, new uh, you know, delivery vehicle. And what does it take to do this kind of job right? Patience, time. Uh, if you don't give enough time to let the gold size tack, your leaf will be absorbed into it. A free-handed outline gives a clean edge to the gold leaf. Using a steady hand and a phenomenally expensive brush is all it takes. <laughs> yeah, right. Grabs came out good. A little time consuming, you know, laying out that stencil and one color, one color, one color, build it all up, get the gold leaf on it, spin it, outline it, and you finally see the finished product, which came out nice. That is gorgeous. That pops with that black around it. And the hand work on there shows that it's really not a stenciled thing. Right. It's Finishes great. off an old school look. The gold, you got that twist that you did on there almost makes it look like it's been milled. 
Yeah, the engine turn burnish. Right. It does is reflect the light. And all you did was use that. It's a twist, and a twist, and a twist, and a twist. Simple. That's gorgeous. You know what? We're gonna let you finish this. We'll so do I it. Get a job. Thanks. <laughs>